So starting again from the Square Info button, but you can be anywhere in these tabs and be able to find this information. We can now look at the square photos. So let's select the square photos. And here we can see our square photos. You can see they come in groups of six. So as I select them. They are based upon the date. On the left hand side you can see a list of the dates and I can select uh, pictures here. I can select the dates. You can go back and forth and, and see them. You can see that there are six photos showing but the arrows on the right and the left would allow you to go and see photos if you have more than that. Technically you can have up to 160 photos taken of just the square. Now what exactly is a square photo? The purpose of a square photo is to shoot a picture of the square from as many angles as possible. And this is really important for trying to understand the stratigraphy. And how many times have I been working on a field report or something like that and I wish that I had taken a picture of that side of the square or this side of the square. I only have these three photos here and I need to be turned just a little bit. Well to resolve that it is my suggestion that you shoot at least eight photos for your square photos. And I, I really think you should do this first thing in the morning. So if you're a square supervisor and you arrive, your first thing is to go over to the square after everybody's, before they start digging, because you don't want anybody in the pictures. You can put an arrow in there, put a meter stick in there if you like, because we need to know which direction you are facing. And then starting from the south balk, shoot north, starting from the south uh, east corner or southwest corner, whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise, shoot at an angle, trying to cover as much of the square as possible, and then keep walking around, and that would be the eight pictures, and that should cover almost every angle. Also, if there is anything special that you want to look at in that square, but remember the square photo is trying to take all of the square. Later you will have a locus photo, which is specific to an area that is being excavated, and you want to take that picture in the locus photo that's specific to that locus, but here this is the first thing you want to do is to shoot as many pictures as you can to give you a good sense of where the day started. Now some of these photos will be added to your supervisor summary. Uh, and you can do that by just going back and once these are photographed and they're stored on the iPad, you can take those photos and add them to your supervisor summary. It is okay for there to be more than one copy in different places of the database. So let's suppose that we want to add for ourselves a new group of pictures for today. So let me click the new button like so. And once I've selected the new button, I want to find that blank box. And you can see all of the boxes are now blank. Now I'm going to select a date, and let's just go with today's date, which is, and I'm going to just select the today's date. Now it may be that the pictures come from a different day, and you can go back and add the pictures based upon the day. The photographs, generally the photographs will, the iPad will give it a date, will sign a date to the photo, so you can look at that date, and if you need to, you can backfill some of these things. I recommend that you do it, try to get them insert it on the day, but sometimes you don't have the time because the life of a square supervisor is a very, very busy day. So let's select our current date, then we're going to select outside of the box. And now that I have selected July 9, uh, 2020, I can select the first box. And just like we've seen in other places where we add photos, it's fairly straight photo fo forward. We just simply select the photos box, go to the all photos, and then you want to start finding the photos that are related to your square. So we're going to scroll down until I find the photo that might be related to the square, and I have a number of photos here. And uh, you don't want photos with people in it because you're trying to look at architectural features. So we're going to add a few of these. We're going to click out here and then down and go in to add some more pictures. We're going to look at some of the architectural features that are related here. Now these are also not pictures that you are going to draw on. So you can use uh, something and you could photograph because this is the square photos. You don't have to do it that way. You don't have to go in and later you know, write names or words or things that are going to go in the square itself. So you can see See how the angle is different in this photo? We look here, this angle is straight, going, looking, um, let's see which direction are we looking in this photo. We are looking 
toward the west, or to the, toward the east, and then you can see in the next photo we're in the northeast corner. And so we're going to look and see if we can find another photo for, that was taken from this group, and not that picture. Did the wrong thing. We're going to select photos, not camera. And the reason why you don't want to shoot the picture through the camera, which you could certainly do, is because you won't have a backup copy. Since I have a copy here on my iPad, I can always come back to that or use that photo for publication or some other needs that you might have uh, sometime in the future. Oh, I accidentally, now what do I do? Uh oh, I added the wrong photo. Notice what I can do, I can select the replace, go back to photos, hit the, oops, not the recent ones, but we're going to go back to all photos. So we're gonna, again, we're going to scroll because the button can be a little tricky if I, uh, I'm not paying attention or spending too much time talking here. Uh, let's say we're going to select that photo there, and you see that it has already replaced it. So it's replaced that photo. We're going to add an, another one here. Again, we're not going to use the camera because that won't save a backup copy. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to stay focused on only those pictures which are stored on the iPad itself. Generally, your iPad should have sufficient memory in order to house all of the photos that you're going to take in a season. And you can take hundreds of photos, and that will, you should be fine. You really should be fine. And again, we can take another one. And I'm, trying, I'm just trying here to fill up uh, these photos so that they look somewhat similar and come to the last one. And you notice I'm here about to fill in the sixth photo. That is, I've got my group. And the nice thing about having this group of six is that you can sort of get a sense of all of the angles. Now, you may choose to only take six photos during the course of in the morning when you're going to take your square photos. Um, I do recommend that you do eight, but you don't have to. Whatever you and your field supervisor decide is fine. But let's suppose that now that we have six photos, and we're going to call this day day seven, or you could put any description, particular description. You might want to say, in this case, I would say emerging plaster floor, or I can see a spolia. You can see a spolia. Notice the spolia that's here in this particular photo. There you have the, the capital, part of the capital of a column there. So you can put anything that you want. You also have a springer, which is popping up off of the right side. Whatever you decide to put in the description that is best way for you to remember that day. Because it, it, once the day is passed, you're not going to remember them. So now what I want to do, I have, oh, I have two more photos I want to add. So I click that arrow on the right side, and I can add more photos. And that's what's really great here is I can just go here and click, add some more photos, go to my all photos, and then scroll until I find the next couple of photos that I might might be a good indication. Here's another one that we haven't seen before. So now if I want to go back, I just click the arrow there and I can go back. Now the information is assigned to all of the photos. Each photo gets the same date and the same description. It also gets the square information, the site information, and so on. All of that goes with the photos and it's attached to that uh, photo information. So there is another way to insert. Uh, so it says insert photo. So if I go over here and I select another one, I could also, instead of tapping the box, I could just click the insert button. I don't recommend that you do that because it's so much easier on the iPad to do it this way um, because the iPad will allow you to do it directly into the box. If you are working on a computer or something like that, then the insert button works or you can drag photo. We don't have an option to drag the photo when we're on the iPad. So you can also see a square photos list. Selecting the square photos, I can now see all of the square photos that we have inserted thus far. And we can search those photos, etc. We can search them. Um, we can return back to where we came from. Or we have this great little button called the gallery button. We're going to select the gallery button. So now that we have 
uh, touch, uh, tap that gallery button, we can see a gallery of all the photos that are related to this particular day on this particular square. We can see it by day and as we scroll through we can see all of the photos and here is that one day that we just had where we can see all those photos all in a nice group and this is really nice because you can see, just sort of scroll through the days and see the changes that takes place. So that if you come back and say um, you take that eight photographs that I'm suggesting, you can see those eight photos. You can see how those eight photos um, begin to progress, those eight different angles progress through the course of the excavation. Again, you also have the ability to create a list like so. You can look at each photo individually by selecting the photo button, which we discuss in other places. You can go to the next record by pressing the next record button. And here you can see a nice one if you want to see a good view close up. Select tap on the on the photograph and then you can see a nice one and you can zoom by pinching with two fingers and you can get a nice look. And here, look at this beautiful stratigraphy. Look at this beautiful plaster floor, plaster floor, plaster floor um, that's in this particular square and the building that we are coming on at the time that we were excavating that. So again, if we want to go back, it's fairly straightforward. Oh, well, once more, we can go back here and if we want uh, selecting a photograph, I can then add keywords. So one of the keywords I might say is plaster floors. Plaster, plaster, like so. I want to put plastered, or I can say plastered floor. Uh, in this case, I'm going to say plastered floor. And then every photo, I'm going to add that one. And then I'm going to go to another one here. I'm going to say, let's see, does this have a plastered floor in it? Nope, this doesn't have a plastered floor, so I don't want to include that with the plastered floor photos. That's a plastered floor. I can then go up to the add button, add. Again, we're going to go plastered. Notice it already has it there, so it's saved it for me. I'm going to select that, add that button, go to another one. Let's see if I can find some more plaster. Oh, there's some more plastered floor. And I can add that, that plastered floor button. Since I've already got it in memory, I just look for that. Oh, click on this, add. See how quick and simple that is? Now, what does that allow me to do? Watch what happens. I go up here to the search button, and I drop down and say, oh, plaster, show me all the plastered floors. I'm going to go to the gallery view, and there are the plastered floors that I've registered. I could also register other things, like the Springer Stone, or a certain wall this, or whatever it is that I want, I can add more. I say, well, that's not enough. We go back to, we see in our gallery, we can look at our list here, and it'll group them all together. This is what is really great. If we want to get rid of that, we hit the delete button, and it gives me everything the way that it was. And I can say, oh, I see, I need some more plaster floors. Do I have more plaster floors? Let's see, here's one that has a plaster floor. I want to make sure that I have that. I'm going to go to photos, select the photos, click plaster floor, like so. There's plastered floor, select add. Oh, but there's also spolia in there. In case you don't know what a spolia is, spolia is any architectural feature that has been reused. Often they're reused in walls. And this is particularly um, easy to identify during the Roman Byzantine periods in the Islamic periods because old pieces were often incorporated. So we're going to add the word spolia here. Watch this. Spol Spol... I don't remember how to spell it. Let's see if this no spolia. I think that's correct. If I misspelled it, make sure that you spell it correctly. And then I'm going to add, a, and it's not spelled correctly. So it doesn't like that. We're going to delete that out again. We're going to go back and see if I remember. I think it's S-P-O-L-L-I-A. I'm hoping that's the correct spelling, otherwise we will need to look that up. Let's just assume for the moment that we're going to do that. Now what happens is I'm going to go up here to my gallery. I'm going to search for my uh, plastered floor. And now I have four plastered, but now I'm looking for any pictures that have spolia in them. So I'm going to look at spolia, and there I can see the picture that I labeled with spolia. It's a really helpful tip, particularly for doing research. If you 
add these, talk to your field supervisor, and then you guys can work out what are the best uh, keywords uh, to add to any photograph. So to get back, you just simply hit the back button, and we have returned now to the list. And this is the list of all, you can see here, a list of all of the photos that were taken of the square. And then we hit the return button, and it takes me back to where we uh, left off.